Hey guys, Enrique here with Luminatech, Tech, and I am here finally back with the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro Joystick Review. So for around $35, is this beginner's joystick worth it? All right, so here we're gonna take a look at the different sides of the Extreme 3D Pro. On the left side, you're gonna see that there are six programmable buttons, and on the right side, you're gonna really see nothing but just some branding. At the bottom center, under the joystick, you're gonna see the throttle, which is very small, and at the top on the joystick, you're gonna see six more buttons, including the viewpoint, which is its own joystick all by itself, and all these buttons are programmable on the joystick. So the Logitech Extreme 3D Pro's build quality is very solid as when tilting the joystick in any direction, it didn't feel like I was going to snap or break it at all. But my only complaint here is that it is fairly light, so when tilting it too far to the left or too far to the right, it will move or sort of jolt out of place if, if you're gaming. So what I would do is usually bolt it down or something, but other than that, it is very solid and very good for the price. Jack it up. All right, so here we have a hand size comparison on the Extreme 3D Pro. So I have fairly large hands, but my hands fit very snugly and fine on the joystick, and it makes for a comfortable playing experience. All right, so here we have the packaging to the Extreme 3D Pro. The packaging is fairly simplistic um, with just some branding on the front and on the side. And on the back, it has the details and specifications on it on the inside as well it didn't really come too securely packaged but since the build quality on it is very well i wasn't too worried so it just came in this really small plastic bag and then had the instructions on the bottom so really nothing has been altered it was just like that except for i've had the extreme duty pro for a while so yeah that's about it so the packaging on this was i'd say decent but not too secure but Hence the build quality, it was fine for me. So here we're just going to show a quick example of the Extreme 3D Pro in-game. So to me, this is really a beginner joystick, so I really won't see myself doing any real simulation with this, except for like in arcade modes and all that stuff in War Thunder. I don't really even see myself playing any other games with this joystick except for War Thunder. But to me, the joystick is very nice and is very good for the price. So what I'd say if it was worth it, I would say yes. For $35, this is a really good joystick to get into the simulation sort of game and to just get started out with a good joystick. So I want to know what you guys think. So drop a comment down below and tell me if you guys have this joystick and if you like it or not. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.